welcome to Taffy's Texas Kitchen and today I'm going to be making a pineapple upside down cake. I'm going to get um, everything together and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a 9 by 13 pan greased and I've got um, half a stick of butter and I did go ahead and grease uh, the whole pan even though you're pouring the butter in the bottom you still want to go ahead and grease the you know whole pan because the cake is going to rise up in the pan so you don't want it to stick on the side so we're just going to pour that uh, stick of butter in the bottom of the pan and then I've got uh, one cup of brown sugar and you just want to spread that around evenly over the bottom of the pan I'm just going to stir this around a little bit or just spread it around evenly so I kind of make sure you got your brown sugar spread out evenly and then you want to lay your pineapple slices in the bottom I usually try to start with the middle And this is up to you how you lay them out. It's just however you can get them to fit in there. Now if you wanted to just make the original, most pineapple upside down cakes are just one layer round cake. But that's not enough for my family so that's why I'm going to go ahead and make a 9 by 13 but if you just wanted to make the one layer they traditionally make it in a round 9 inch pan or if you want have a large uh, pie pan and then you would just half this recipe half the cake recipe or if you, you didn't want to make the cake which I've done, you know, done before. I've made it before with a yellow cake box. You know, if you don't have time to, to make a cake, then the yellow cake mix is what I usually do. And then you just want to put your cherries in each of the Pineapples, and then we'll put them in between the pineapples and this is all up to you how you want to lay out your uh, pineapples and cherries which are your own little design and I'm just going to put a few in here when you you'll need a 20 ounce can of pineapples and when you drain that make sure that you save the juice because we're going to put that in the cake mix. And if you use a box cake, you can also do that. Substitute the water or usually it calls for water. Substitute the water for uh, the pineapple juice. Okay, we're going to set this aside. I've already got one stick of softened butter in here and I've got uh, half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar and I'm going to put those back both in and I'm just going to let these mix up a little bit till the uh, it gets light and fluffy <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add in one egg at a time, and then we need two eggs. And you just add in one and let that one get incorporated. One teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, 
just a little extra. Then we need one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of baking powder. And I'm adding that to my two cups of flour. that a little stir and then you'll need I reserved uh, half of the pineapple juice and what I do is I just fill up the halfway mark with the pineapple juice and I just fill it up the rest of the way to one cup of the milk just makes it a little bit easier and then I'm gonna add in half of my flour down the bowl. We had a really big storm here in Texas last night. It didn't get quite bad here uh, where we live, but in uh, Dallas they kept showing on the news. Uh, I think they had one touchdown. It wasn't confirmed at the time, but on the news they kept showing uh, flashes of where the transformers were going out. You can see the flashes. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more of the flour. You want to start with dry and end with dry. But luckily we didn't have any. Our lights never went out. They kept flickering but they never went out. But in the daytime yesterday, it was 87 degrees, and then by uh, like 4 o'clock, it had, I don't know, it seemed like in about an hour, it had dropped down to like 60 degrees, so. And today our high is only supposed to be like 60, and then tomorrow it's supposed to be 78, so. The weather's crazy down here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the the rest of the liquid. I'm going to go ahead and add all the flour. Scrape it down just one more time. I'm just going to go ahead and take it off. Just mix it up the rest of the way. It's mixed up. I just want to make sure that all the sides are mixed in. And you always want to go down to the bottom. Sometimes you don't get all the way down to the very bottom. Okay, and then you just want to pour this over the top and just kind of leisurely do it. You don't want to disturb the pineapples and the cherries. And this is going to cook at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. And you want it to come, you know, be able to stick a toothpick in for in it to come out clean. I'm just going to spread this out. Alright, well we'll be back. Okay, our cake is out of the oven. 
and I've had it set in here for probably about 15 minutes. I'm just going to take a knife and go around the edges. You want to pull it down enough so that you can touch the pan and be able to touch the bottom of the pan because you're going to have to flip it out. And I'm just going to flip mine out onto this tray. Just gonna leave it like this for a little while. Hopefully it comes out without tearing. I think I heard it a noise. I think I heard it release but we'll just let it sit there and let all the uh, that brown sugar and butter kind of turns you know caramelizes in there and turns into a sauce and so all that will you know drip out of the pan and we'll be back in just a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll bring you back for a taste test. Okay, we're going to go ahead and lift the pan up, and there we go. It looks pretty. All right, well, when, when the kids get home, we'll have them taste test for us. Eli already, uh, on the days I cook, they all, they usually ask me before they go to school sometimes, they'll ask me, are you cooking today? And, Eli already asked if he could be the taste tester. He had, they asked what I'm cooking, and if it's something that, you know, they like, then they'll ask if they can be the taste tester, so. All right, we'll be back in a little while. Okay, here's our cake. And we got Eli home from school, and we're gonna let him do a taste test. And I'm gonna slice him a piece, and we'll be right back. All right, Eli said this is his favorite cake. It's one of my favorites too. Yeah, that's good. And it's real moist. It's really good. That's really good. All right, well, thank you guys for joining us today on Taffy's Texas Kitchen. And remember to show kindness to others. You guys have a good weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.